And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UCW Zero. I'm Josh Damien. And I'm Jeff Reed. And we have got some great action for you tonight coming at you. Jeff, I'm very excited about this match. Do you have any thoughts coming into this contest? Uh, well, this match, obviously, for the Tag Team Champion should be a very competitive matchup that I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah, definitely a great matchup here in UCW Zero. Uh, the Tag Team titles, of course, are on the line in this contest. And here's our champions right here. This is Cassidy and Dallas Murdoch, known collectively as the Regulators. Yeah, great tag team here in UCW Zen. Oh, man. Well, I, I guess things are going to start here early, Jeff, as we've got a sneak attack from the Deacon of Doom and Ship, and things are just... We haven't even rung the bell yet. This match hasn't even started. Uh, in wrestling, we call that a Pearl Harbor a attack from behind, and look at him go right to Cassidy to start this matchup. Wasting no time trying to get the champions at a decided disadvantage to start the matchup. While it's not exactly the most moral strategy, definitely a, a good strategy here. Oh man, as Shib is just going to put Cassidy's knee into the pole. Speaking of Pearl Harbor Day, that happens to be my birthday, Jeff, just so you know. But getting back into action here is Shib and. Oh, I, this is just taking advantage of a situation right here. The regulators are going to be at a disadvantage as Chip continues to drive Cassidy's knee into that pole. I don't think he's going to be able to stand. Well, referee Jeremiah needs to get control of this matchup. I mean, obviously not fair. Cassidy starting with one leg is Chip now focusing on that knee, and it looks like yeah, the it looks like the left knee of Cassidy. That's where they put a target on in the beginning of this matchup. Dallas Murdoch, of course, is still on the outside, has yet to get up on the apron. As uh, we see here, Chip and Cassidy, it looks like they'll be starting things off here. And Cassidy, well, I was going to say he has one leg to stand on, but now he doesn't. Yeah, kick right to the back of the knee. Kind of the equivalent, equivalent of a chop lock that we see in football. And look at Chip now, almost a variation of a step over toe hole. Great finding the leg. Cassidy needs to get to that rope, he needs to get to that rope quickly. Yeah, no doubt about that. Of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, when a, when, a, uh, when a competitor is in a submission, grabbing the grabbing the rope will actually force the other competitor to stop the hold. If they don't stop the hold, it is a disqualification. And good tag team strategy here, shooting him back into a neutral corner. But look at the Oh, Cassidy scores with the big clothesline. And he's got to make the tag to Dallas Murdoch. Look at him limp around. Cassidy obviously still having problems with that knee, but it still doesn't stop him from taking advantage in this match and putting Chip down into the corner. But you know that that knee is going to be a huge factor in this match, especially if he doesn't tag out and get a break here really quickly. Even there, just the Chip, it, Chip isn't a guy who weighs a lot. I mean, you know, he weighs uh, probably the same amount as an average man, but at the same time, that's enough weight for his knee to bump right there. As we see a beautiful arm drag from Cassidy. And I, is it smart strategy for Cassidy to not tag out? Oh, if I was Cassidy, I would make the tag quickly, but what do I know? I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> Valid point there, Jeff. As uh, Dallas Murdoch now gets in, and in my opinion, Dallas Murdoch is the toughest guy in our company. As we see a nice chop there to the chest of Chip. Maybe a little bit of revenge for those antics in the beginning. Making sure, of course, that Chip doesn't tag into the Deacon of Doom. With Dallas Murdoch, a nice use of every corner. I wonder if he can go for the four corner spot where he gets all he gets a chop in all four corners. Yeah, you said Dallas Murdoch, one of the toughest competitors in UCW Zero, but also one of the most aggressive competitors. And look at that, a big splash in the corner, and he is cooking as he enters this matchup. Kick right to the face. Yeah, no doubt about that. Maybe the attack in the beginning backfired because it looked like it provided a lot of adrenaline for Dallas Murdoch as we see the tag being made. And now Cassidy, who has finally had some time to rest that knee. But the question is, was it enough time, Jeff? Yeah, I don't know. Cassidy looks like he's still favoring the knee, and I don't know if it was smart to get back in the matchup at this time. At the same time, though, Cassidy and Dallas Murdoch, they've worked together for years. Took a little bit of break. Both competitors were in singles action as we see a beautiful elbow drop there on the chip. And Cassidy gets ready for a pin here. Going to get a two count, unfortunately. But as I was saying, Cassidy and Dallas Murdoch, longtime tag team partners, and it's good to see them back together. They work together so well. Yeah, they're accomplished singles competitors, but I think their strength really is in the tag team division. Great move there, though. Uh, counter move by Chip. He was able to hold on to the ropes. 
And then Cassidy, maybe a little over anxious there, took a boot right to the face. Yeah, definitely. Cassidy, maybe looking to go to the dentist after this one. He might be missing a couple teeth from that boot. And now Chip looks like he's going back to the knee. Very smart strategy here. Looks like he's going to wrap that knee around the bottom rope, and I can tell you that hurts. Yeah, it definitely does. Those ropes are not your friends most of the time. You can, you know, you can get hit with the chair all you want. You can do all that other stuff, but those ropes, well, I, they they burn. Yeah, and it, like for someone who hasn't been in the ring, and not saying I've been in the ring a lot, but those ropes are made of steel cable, and they are very unforgiving. Is finally going to see the Deacon in this matchup. Oh uh, yeah, you guys want to talk about a striker? You want to talk about an old school wrestler? The Deacon of Doom meets all of those all of those descriptions right there. The Deacon looks to take advantage of Cassidy here in a, in a vulnerable state, getting him up here for a body slam. Cassidy, of course, just falling down there. A beautiful punch by the Deacon. And if I'm the Deacon, I would I would get the pinfall here. The titles are on the line. Yeah, I think you said old school, and that fist drop was definitely old school, but very well executed by the Deacon. He doesn't do a lot, but what he does do is he, he knows how to cheat or, can we say, bend the rules to his favor. Cassidy trying to fight back here. You know, I'm mean, you, you got the old man. Beautiful there by Cassidy. Should have made the tag, though. Should have made the tag. Is the knee going to be a factor? He's got the Deacon up on his... Wait a minute. Chip now. Uh, where are they going? I, 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 I don't know, but there's a tag. As now Dallas Murdoch is, is the legal man now in this match. Keep in mind the Deacon of Doom is the legal man as well for his team. And uh, you thinking what I'm thinking, Jeff? Uh, looks like they're trying to reach for the Deacon. And now this match looks like it's going to start where or it's going to go to where we started, and that's an all-out brawl on the outside of the ring. The four corners of the ring not going to contain the aggression and pure disdain these competitors have for each other. Dallas Murdoch rolls the Deacon of Doom back in the ring as we see Chip now taking out Cassidy's knee, but Dallas Murdoch has a beautiful Samoan drop there. Dallas Murdoch, he's been very efficient in this matchup. Beautiful leg drop. And you talk about Dallas Murdoch's toughness. We've talked about his aggression, but he's also a pretty good athlete. Dallas Murdoch, definitely the total package in UCW Zero, former UCW Zero champion. You know how baseball players chew gum, Jeff? Are you a baseball fan? Uh, for the sake of argument, yes. Well, Dallas Murdoch chews tax. I swear, I've seen it. He's that tough. It's unbelievable. A double clothesline. I guess we'll see. Deacon tried to make, uh, I guess, a hot tag, but he didn't make it. And now gets the tag into Chip. And Chip going up to the top rope. Could be a mistake. Definitely a mistake. Yeah, it was. It was a good recovery, though, by the Deacon, who missed the first time. And then, oh, man. Oh, where are we going here? Following slam off the top rope from one side of the ring to the other. What a maneuver by Dallas Murdoch. <laughs> Cassidy says, hey, that was for the knee. As we got a pin, oh, man. The distraction, Jeremiah obviously distracted by the blonde bombshell on the apron right now, and I think that could have been it. Dallas Murdoch trying to regain the focus of the referee here, giving Chip a chance to recover. And all is, he looks like he was trying to go for what we could call a lip lock, and there's a kick and a clothesline to the back of the head. A, a lip lock. A lip lock. Definitely unconventional tactics by Chip, but very effective. Well, Chip, of course, uh, definitely one of the alternatives here in UCW Zero, but it looks like it doesn't. It didn't phase Dallas too much. He was still able to get to his feet. As Chip now takes Dallas into the corner, looking for an Irish whip into the other corner, but reversed by Murdoch. Oh, some Ric Flair-esque maneuvers there. Ducks the clothesline, comes back with a clothesline of his own. And Chip, we talked about his alternate, unconventional lifestyle, but you gotta, you got to applaud his effectiveness in this matchup so far. Hey, it's just pure strategy at this point. Anything to take advantage in this match, and uh, I'm going to call this one alternative strategy as well. Yeah. Oh, and a headbutt right to the groin. Looks like referee Jeremiah's attention was elsewhere. He's trying to get the Deacon out of the ring. Deacon wasn't the legal man. And once again, we talked about these guys, their tendency to bend the rules, and that was a case of point right there. Referee distracted, take the advantage to drop the head straight south 
into the groin of Dallas Murdoch. Now, was there a tag made, Jeff? I didn't quite see that. Well, Looks if like there was or not, it doesn't seem to matter right now as the Deacon is supposedly the legal man right now as he chokes Dallas Murdoch in the corner. Yeah, and referee, of course, a little bit distracted. That's the only issue is that if you're trying to fight for your guy and he's being taken advantage of, you're distracting the referee, and that just makes it so that your opponents can do whatever they want. Yeah, it's good tag team strategy by Chip and Deacon. They know that Cassidy wants nothing more than to get his hands on these two, and they're using Cassidy's aggression against him to distract the referee and take advantage. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, these are or this match is for the UCW Zero Tag Team Titles on the line. As the Deacon is currently, uh, it currently has momentum in in his uh, corner. And whoa. I think the Deacon's making a mistake here, though. He gave Dallas Murdoch a good five to ten seconds to recovery as he jaw jacked with the fans. You can't do that if you want to be the tag team champions. Yeah, it's definitely Deacon's weakness is that his weakness is also one of his strengths and is that he, he's got a mouth on him. He can definitely he can persuade anybody into anything. He's very articulate with his words and, and his philosophy and that's going to be one of his weaknesses but it's also his biggest strength. I mean he's got Chip as a tag team partner simply because of his way of words. Yeah, it's a proverbial double-edged sword but right now the Deacon and Chip have the advantage on the tag team champions and Dallas Murdoch needs to find an opening here to fight back and make the tag to Cassidy. As uh, Chip now paying some favor back for all those chops that Dallas Murdoch gave him. Shoot off, and this could be it. Oh, he scoops him up. Big sidewalk slam, and Dallas Murdoch needs to crawl to his corner and make the tag to Cassidy, who at this junction of the match is definitely well rested. This is a critical moment for both teams. In the event that either one can get in a fresh tag team partner, with Dallas Murdoch still able to get that clothesline, it looks like Chip is down. And a tactical mistake by Dallas Murdoch, though. He needed to make the tag to Cassidy. He had the opening to do so, and he neglected to. And now he's on the outside of the ring wounded, but it looks like Cassidy coming over to assist his tag team partner. And it looks like we've got Dallas Murdoch rolling Chip back into the ring now, which is a smart move, going in for the pin. But, oh, man. Referee still distracted. He's trying to get that blonde out of the ring. Or I don't know what Jeremiah is doing right now. His emphasis, his focus needs to be on the tag team championship match in the center of that ring. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's it's a, it, you, you got a good point. Is that focus does need to be in the middle of the ring? But I mean, come on, it, it's kind of hard to not have focus on the outside. Yeah, I can see your point. Yeah. Oh, and there's a match going on, too. And, hey, look at this. Chip taking a man, Dallas Murdoch, trying to get Dallas Murdoch up there. But, oh, man, beautiful DDT from Dallas Murdoch. We talked about Dallas Murdoch needing to find an opening, and boy, did he ever dropping Chip straight on his head with that elevated DDT. He's got to, got to make the tag right now to Cassidy. Yeah, Cassidy, of course, is the fresh man. Uh, I, I would say that that knee, although it may be a factor, but, I mean, he's not even doing that. Dallas Murdoch going up to the top rope. I think Dallas just wants to finish this thing. And, oh, uh, did you see that? She shook the rope. I saw every single bit of that right there. I don't think Maya did, though. Oh, uh, actually, I think the ref saw that as well. That is that is grounds for a disqualification, no doubt about it. Well, no, I, I agree with you. I think, I think Maya saw it. I just think that Maya wanted to see certain parts of it. He did, so... But that's just me. It's Chip looks to suplex Dallas Murdoch off the top rope here. He's going all the way up to the danger zone. Oh, vertical suplex! Oh, what a maneuver! But look how much it took out of Chip. And what, what is the Deacon doing? No well, way. We know the Deacon's uh, not a big fan of heights, as you can tell right there. It looks like he's got a a case of the the limber legs and. Uh, Comes off with the elbow drop. And you know what? That may have been the first smart thing that Deacon's done all match. He didn't have to go from the top or the bottom, or excuse me, or the middle or the bottom, and he just decided to walk and drop an elbow. And here it is. This could be the finisher. Oh, but he super kicks the Deacon. Big mistake. Duck the clothesline by Dallas, and oh, what a big boot. Those are some size 13 boots. You look at Chip's forehead, there's a reverse 13 in it right now. I'll take your word for it. And now, 
I've said it before, but this is he definitely needs to make the tag to Cassidy. Well rested on the apron and just chopping at the bits to get in. And here it goes. Cassidy with a close line. Make it two. Let's see if we can go for three. How about three right there? And it looks like that knee is still going to be affecting Cassidy, but he can still fire on all cylinders. Cassidy shoots Chip off. Scoops him on the shoulders, and drops him into a flapjack. Beautiful maneuver by Cassidy, but still favoring that left leg from the attack at the onslaught of this matchup. Yeah, you got to wonder if picking him up for the flapjack was the right thing to do. His knee has definitely got some damage going on right now. Definitely nothing permanent, but it's definitely going to affect him for the rest of the match as Cassidy tries to go for a pin. I think he only got a one count there. Yeah, Dallas Murdoch and the Deacon fighting on the outside. It's, it's coming down to Chip and Cassidy in the center of the ring right now. Cassidy shoots him off. Looks to scoop him up. Oh, going for that patented chest breaker. Counters, looking for the super kick. Double leg sweep. And what's he going for here? Looks like an inverted figure, maybe an Indian death lock. A time-tested maneuver here. Dallas Murdoch looks like he's got the leg of Deacon who can't make the save. He taps out. And Dallas Murdoch and Cassidy retain the Tag Team Champion. Chips, great match up there. Yeah, you got to be careful with your Cassidy, especially if you're going to be doing submissions involving your own legs. His knee suffered so much through this match, but he was still able to overcome the obstacles here with his lifelong friend, Dallas Murdoch. A battle-tested Tag Team Champions, the Regulators. Chip and Deacon gave them all they could handle, especially with that, that attack to start the matchup. But boy, did our tag team champions overcome that and retain their belts in a very competitive matchup to start. Yeah, no doubt about that. Just even despite uh, a couple of key assists there from uh, from their blonde friend right there, uh, that's just one of those things that the regulators are just so good with so much veteran experience that they can overcome those obstacles. And that's an obstacle. That is definitely an obstacle. Dallas Murdoch and Cassidy, still the tag team champions, as we've got more here to come on UCW Zero.